What's going on guys, your boy Turbi Reacts here, and I'm back with another Peaky Blinders reaction. I know it's been a while, so I'm not even going to stay here. I do apologize for not uploading, but it's been a rough couple of weeks for me. Um, so, I do remember what's happening in the show, of course, and I'm looking forward to watching this. Um, season 3, Episode 5, I think. Um, yeah, right? episode five i think my last reaction was episode four we're gonna jump into this man um no more time wasting you guys have heard me talk enough okay so we want to see what happens next how they're planning to break into this treasury or whatever the situation is so let's go watch this i will see you guys for the review All right, so I'm back again with the review for Peaky Blinders Season 3, Episode 5 is over, and I will try to get that finale out to you guys. I'll probably do the finale um, before the week ends, before the week ends, to be honest, because I owe you guys that much. Anyways, um, so this episode was pretty cool, man. The plan, the whole thing that happened in the house, you guys saw it. Uh, my opinion on that is that they're just casing the place. They're casing the place to see what is the procedure and how do they get down there. Even though they're going to tunnel in, they're trying to case the, the castle, trying to see if they can, you know, know when the when the, the, the safe is not guarded and all of this other stuff. Um, so anytime anybody's going to go, if, if anybody's going to go to the safe, the, um, what, what are they called? the Kosas, Kozaks, I think it's Kozaks, they call them, they come, um, guard with their dogs and guns and stuff, you know, just in case somebody trying to rob them pretty little ladies and the old dude, okay, so, it's pretty cool, man, to see how they brought Solomon's in, I mean, every scene this guy's in is amazing, man, Tom Hardy, is probably one of the most underrated actors that I've seen in recent history. He, he caught a lot of caught a lot of um flake for Venom. He caught he, he did catch a lot of heat for do, for doing Venom and even though as much as I enjoy that movie, I wouldn't give that movie it wasn't anything out of this world spectacular, but I love the acting um in that he did in Venom. Um because he's just that guy he's he's very captivating when he's on screen and he's killing this role man killing this role bro so love him every time he's on screen you know he's very condescending um i love that he's playing a jewish guy um and he just is charisma on screen man it's just you want to hear everything he has to say. You don't want to say anything. You don't want to interrupt him because you know that is dialogue. And whoever is, I mean, Stephen Knight. Oh, my God. Stephen Knight, bro, he is killing the writing on this show, man. Can we give him a round of applause? Can we give Stephen Knight a round of applause, man? Dude is killing the writing on the show, man. Oh, my God. It's good. Anyways, so... We have them preparing to do this heist. Um, so the plan is to kill the brothers. That's what they're going to do. Because of course they don't want to pay. They want to get the jo get them to do the job. And then they're going to try to kill them. Of course. But now that they know. Now that um, they know. They can be prepared for that. Just, just in case. You know the heist goes bad. Or whatever the situation is. Um, I like Tatiana. I like her. She has a certain vibe around her. Like, sometimes you wish you had, you know, that crazy girl that you just like. You don't get her. But she, she like, her sex appeal on screen is so good. And that's what I love about her. Like, she portrays this, this sexual um, freeness on screen which is which is not easy to do even when you're in a role like this it is not easy for a woman to still be that captivating sometimes you know women take their clothes off 
on screen and you're like, okay, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It happened. So, you know, but you know, she leaves an imprint in your mind. You know what I'm saying? After the fact, even after you finish watching the show and stuff, she leaves an imprint. It's like, oh, remember Tatiana? Oh yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's just like her sex appeal. I, I love that about her, that she, the, the sexual freedom that she portray, portrays through this character is pretty cool. And she's a beautiful woman anyway. So that helps. <laughs> so um, she's just, she's crazy to another level. Um, I I don't know what his, her feelings towards Tommy, to be honest. I think she seems like the type of person that would probably betray her family for Tommy. Um, she just, she seems like that type of person. Um, I think she she is that girl that you have that's like, listen, I'm I'm all about the power. Whatever you need. You want me to act like your wife, your ex wife that died? I got you. Anything for the power. I love the power. I'm attracted to the power. That's the kind of character she comes off to me. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. You know, don't come at me in the comment section. But anyways, man, it's um Arthur. I don't know if he's going to be able to tell. There's no way he's going to tell Linda what happened at that house. There's no way. Because Linda will probably leave him. Um, even though she's already extorted money from Tommy. You know, to to go away. to go. What, did he go and live with the Apaches? Is that true? There's no way. He's going to go live with, with, the, um, with the Indians. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people like to say, okay. I don't know why y'all think. I don't even know. Is it an offensive is it offensive to call Native Americans Indians? I don't. I, I, I've never understood that because that's how that's what we know them as back in the Caribbean. That's what we've learned that they are called Indians. So I've never understood why is it offensive to call them Indians? I don't understand and um, why they call them Native Americans versus Indians here. It's it's weird to me. Because I don't see that an offense because that's how we learn it in our history, um, Caribbean history. We're the West Indians. Indians. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's just it's weird to me um, when it comes on to that situation, the Apaches or whatever. I know there's different tribes and all of this other stuff like I know about that. But overall, you know, we call them Indians. So it's just you come here and you learn something new. Black people don't like to be called black people. It's African Americans. It's Native Americans. It's um, Chinese Americans. I, I I don't know, man. <laughs> Everything just is just gone. People just getting way too touchy these days, and I just don't get it. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah. But when it comes on to, um. The situation that's happening in the show, um, you know, Polly finally getting her man. And as I was talking about at the end of the video, um, at the end of the, the reaction, I was talking about Polly and her son. And, you know, I was kind of relate to her in terms of my mother, as in my mom does the same thing to me. She just goes through my stuff when she comes here. And sometimes I got to tell her, you know, there's, you know, there's. I already got somebody here that's doing that. You don't have to worry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, but she does it anyways. I mean, she doesn't go too, you know, too much of a, too far with it, but she does still do it. It's like an addiction. I don't know what it is. Um, but I could tell that Polly was going to say the same thing because my mom, she's not a vindictive person and she trains me to be the same way. So it's like, if somebody does bad things, stuff to you you don't try to one up the person try to say okay i'm gonna do something worse back to you and that's something that i've carried through in my personal life that when people do stuff against me i don't retaliate towards them you get what i'm saying unless you're putting my life in danger if you're putting my life in danger is a totally different thing but if it's just words like i don't care <laughs> you get what i'm saying like you cuss me out you can cuss me out it, it doesn't matter to me because I'm just not a retaliate, I'm, I'm not a, a person, I'm not vindictive, because I was trained to not be vindictive like that, so yes, it's a cutthroat world, especially in business, 
but still you got to learn to kind of compromise and do things different ways and that's how learn how to be a people person learn how to help people and provide value to people's lives and in turn they will try to do the same because they will realize after a while that man no matter what i try to say to this dude he just he just doesn't care you know what i'm saying like it doesn't get to me when people talk about me it doesn't get to me i don't you know what I'm saying? I try to cultivate an environment of positivity at all times, no matter how you come at me with negativity. Like I try to, I try to find out what's going on, what's going on. You know what I'm saying? I don't want everybody to like me, but I want you to be specific about what this is about. So if I need to end our relationship, I can do that without wondering what, you know what I'm saying? Like what happened? I hate when relationships that I'm in end and i don't know what why the hell they ended you know what i'm saying some people i love when people are explicitly brutally honest about how they how they feel and that way it's easier for me to make decisions regarding our relationship so i love the fact i don't love the fact that she searched but i like the fact that she said i still don't want him to be the one that pulls the trigger love that so um so I don't know what Tommy is going to do, but that's how the episode ended, man. But his plan, plan is going good. Plan is seem to be going good so far. They brought in the guys to is old. It seems like the guys that was in the tunnel with him. I think those guys are going to be the ones that are going to be digging the tunnel. So that's going to be dope to see. Um, series finale is next. N not series finale. Season finale is next. So... Hope you guys stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching as always. It's your boy Terry by Reacts and peace.